How's it going guys? My name is Lars and welcome to another Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. So guys, the PvP week just ended this morning and with that we have a fresh new week for PvP fights for the next week. But this time it's actually a little bit different because this week is not just a normal PvP week. This is a luxurious PvP week per se, the translations by Roboloid. So, Basically guys, the biggest things that they changed up and before I go into that, I just want to let everybody know who does play the global version and not the JP version that the Keyblades for this week are going to be Missing Egg, Sleeping Lion and Olympia. So the more, it seems like they're trying to focus more on the speed side uh, Keyblades even though Olympia does have a power slot or two. But uh, most of it is pretty much speed and can be used as a speed type setup. But um, they are changing it up so that it, the way that I see it it seems like they are focusing on the speed attribute medals especially because we did get a seven star speed attribute booster uh, through Union Cross but uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about and I wanted to get your thoughts and opinions on it in the comment section below because a lot of people a lot of people are you know the mixed feelings about this and uh, for me for me personally the way that I've been ranking lately, I mean, I did get lucky one week or those those uh, four days when we were only able to use a Starlight Keyblade and I ranked in under top 50. And I was pretty happy about that. That's like the best that I've done so far. And don't get me wrong, guys. I wish I could have live streamed those last uh, 10 PvP fights before the reset happened. But good God, when I tell you that uh, the sweat is out there, the sweat is definitely out there in top 100. It's Especially in top 50 because you got the most strongest Keybladers in this game in top 50 so it was pretty ridiculous and I was surprised that I still managed to get myself into top 100 honestly but um, usually most of the time my goal is to get into top 500 that's pretty much like my personal goal if I do manage to get top 100 they're even more fantastic because that means I'll be able to get an extra gold ticket but this week is a little bit different because of the uh, the changes that they did and so they are calling this PvP week the luxurious week and this is why. So basically guys, uh, I know you can't read this so I'm, I am going to um, let you guys know. But basically they changed up the amount of rewards, uh, FRI tickets that we are going to be getting. So take example, if you are first place. Uh, for PvP for, for this week in JP. I'm not sure if it's coming in global, but in JP if you are first place you get yourselves four of each ticket gold silver and bronze and you also get a first champion title uh, Second to through tenth place also get four But they the only difference between the first place and the top two or the top ten is that the, the there's a title difference and the title difference is first ten strongest title uh, when you go up to ranks 11 through 50, uh, it does start changing up a little bit. So instead of get off, instead of getting all four, um, you do get four gold, four bronze. But you, uh, the only difference is you get three silver. And it goes on um, as you can as you can probably tell by the color coding that they have right here. They changed up the rewards and also the the ranking. So instead of focusing on just like a big section by big section by big section. A section and only giving like these like little rewards you have a possibility of actually getting a gold ticket um, if you're not the strongest PvP player up to rank uh, 3000 so if you if you're past 3000 you will get you won't get a gold ticket but afterwards you still get four silver tickets silver Moogle tickets and four uh, bronze Moogle tickets so you know what in my opinion the way that they're doing this now for this luxury PvP uh, week, I actually kind of like it because it actually gives an opportunity for players who are struggling to get into top uh, 1000 or 500 or top 100 to actually be able to obtain a golden ticket or a silver ticket if you haven't have been having any luck with uh, getting any of those tickets above because yeah, bronze tickets are pretty easy to get. Uh, you can get them as you grind. Uh, PvP a little bit every day since you know PvP is part of our whole daily routine to get our 300 jewels um, But aside from that though in my opinion the way that I see it and a, a lot of people are mixed feelings about this But again, I feel like this is an opportunity for uh, Players who are not able to get into those high rankings to get themselves at least one gold ticket if you manage to get into top 3000 now the count about this is 
players are going to be going extremely hard uh, this week because, of course, everybody wants to get those awesome extra rewards. So, in my opinion, I kind of like the way that they did it. I don't know if this is going to be permanent. It doesn't mention anything in the notice at all. It's just letting us know the uh, differences that uh, uh, of rewards that we're getting for this week in PvP. Uh, the only other difference that they did do as well is that you know that if you play a certain amount of times, if you win a certain amount of matches uh, or get the amount of points required, you do usually get three bronze tickets. But this time they changed it up a little bit where um, you can get an extra two more. So once you get past uh, 1,500 points, um, if I'm correct, yeah. So once you pass 50 or 1,000 points, actually, um, you do get two extra bronze tickets, which I know is not really all that. It only goes up to your tier three, I believe. But you know what? It's better than it's better than nothing, in my opinion, because uh, at least you. It's more of an incentive to be like, hey, we know players are about to go hard. They're about to go ham. They're gonna try their hardest with the best setups um, to possibly obtain a gold ticket or a silver ticket or m maybe more than one. So it's gonna be an interesting week for sure on how. Uh, you know the battles are going to be the setups going on people's setups are going to be extremely stronger than what they used to be and it seems like this week in jp i don't know about global but in jp they're focusing on speed attribute type keyblades even though olympia has two uh power slots but most of it is speed so i wanted to let you guys know this especially uh, my global players uh because i know that pvp resets tonight well yeah tonight to, uh, tonight like at 3 a.m eastern standard time so i wanted to let you guys know that uh to you know to kind of be ahead in the game to be like hey you know i need to make sure that i focus maybe my moogle tickets if i do manage to get like some silvers or a gold on um speed attribute uh, medals so that that way I can take advantage and maybe have the possibility of being like hey I can get myself a, uh, a maybe two gold Moogle tickets and not have to be in top 100 you know or top 500 so it's gonna be interesting and I want to know your guys' thoughts because again I've seen some mixed feelings on Twitter um, so let me know in the comment section below guys how do you how do you feel about this how do you feel about these uh, the rankings that they did um, if you enjoyed the video, as always, guys, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, I will see y'all in my next video.